Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here today to demonstrate how to measure the diameter of the tree using a tree scale stick. These tree scale sticks can be purchased at forestry suppliers, or you can go to the National 4-H Forestry Invitational and download plans to make your very own tree scale stick. When we measure diameter of a tree, we do it at what's called diameter at breast height, which is four and a half feet. Now we have already measured four and a half feet on this tree right here, um, and it's a good idea as you're learning to do this that you figure out where four and a half feet is on your body. For some of us, it may be truly at diameter at breast height, but as you can see, uh, for me, it's a little bit higher, and my diameter at breast height is a little higher because I'm a little shorter. So you make sure you always measure that um, diameter at diameter breast height four and a half feet. So now that we've determined where diameter breast height is on the tree, it's a good idea to walk around that tree to look at the different faces of that tree. Because as you can imagine, a tree is not a perfect circle. So we'll probably need to do more than one measurement to determine diameter. And when I walked around this sycamore here, I found that this face or this side was wider, broader than this side right here over this face of the tree, it was more narrow. So I know I'm going to have to take two diameter measurements and take the average of those to figure out what my diameter of this tree is. Another thing we need to think about when we're measuring diameter is the slope that that tree's on. Now in here it's pretty easy because we're on nice level flat ground so I was only concerned with determining which faces I needed to measure. Now if I, the tree were sitting on a slope, I want to make sure that I'm always measuring the diameter on the uphill side or on the contour um, when I take that diameter measurement. Make sure it's always on that uphill side. All right, now that we've gotten the left side of the tree scale stick lined up with the left side of the tree, we're going to, without turning our head, just our eyes, we're going to look to see where the uh, right side of the tree lines up with our stick. And you'll notice there are, um, it says diameter of tree in inches, and there's all these increments, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're gonna see where the right side of the tree crosses that scale. And it looks to be, it's pretty close to about 12 inches. Now that we've gotten the diameter of the narrow side of the tree, which was 12 inches, I've come over here to the broader side, just slightly broader um, side of the tree where I'm going to take the diameter measurement there as well. And then I'll take the average of those two to figure out what my diameter is. We do the exact same thing. Diameter at breast height, so we're holding it at four and a half feet off the ground. Um, at arm's length, and that stick is nice and level and up against, flush up against the tree. I'm going to line up again the left hand side of this um, tree scale stick with the left side of the tree and then without turning my head, just my eyes, I'm going to line, I'm going to see where the right side of my tree crosses my tree scale stick so that I can figure out what the diameter is of this broader side. All right, so now we finished, finished measuring the diameter. We got 12 inches on the narrow side, and on the broader side, which wasn't much broader, we got 14 inches. And so when we take the average of those two measurements, we get a 13 inch diameter tree. Um, and I wanted to point out a tree scale stick is a great way to get a quick estimate of what your diameter is. There's, you know, some room for error in there, um, user error and, you know, we're in position in the forest and whatnot sometimes. But it's a good way to get a quick estimate of what the diameter um, of your tree is. Now, if you needed to get a really accurate measurement of the diameter, you would want to use something else like a diameter tape or um, take uh, the circumference using the measuring tape and then using math to figure out what that diameter is. But for a quick estimate, the tree scale stick is great at telling you what the diameter is. Um, and this is something we use in all of our 4-H forestry field days. Um, and our Kentucky Division of Forestry foresters use these for a good quick estimate of the diameter of their trees out in the woods. I hope you've enjoyed this um, and I hope you've learned a little bit on how to measure diameter and get out and practice um, and join us for the next installment when we learn how to use the merit hypsometer, which is also on our tree scale stick, to determine the height of trees.